Hi, this is Dan with TheWindowDog.com. Today we're on vacation at this beautiful log cabin, and what do we have but a window with a seal failure. Now it's a little bit hard to see because of the settings on the camera, so let me show you a picture I took from earlier today. Now this is the window dog himself, trying very hard to make sure the backyard is completely free from intruders, and the poor little guy has to stand up here and look through that cloudy window. He works so hard to keep us safe, the very least we can do is provide him with a clear view. Now a seal failure is caused when the seal between the two panes of glass has failed, allowing outside air to get in, bringing with it moisture that leaves a film. So you'll get a, a condensation or a fog in between the glass that you can't wipe off. That glass has failed. You need to replace it. So today, we're going to do just that. Now since we are on vacation, as soon as we have this project wrapped up, I'm going fishing. So we're in a bit of a hurry. To get started, we're going to get this couch out of here, we're going to get these blinds off, and we're going to start taking it apart. Once we get the window apart, we'll be able to get the exact measurements of the glass unit. We'll order up a new one, and through the magic of online video, we'll have this window fixed in just a few minutes. It's going to be fun. Alright, so here we are ready to get started. I've got my trusty screwdriver, and I'm ready to start taking this window apart. Now this is a wood window, so it's held together with screws, which makes it relatively easy to work on. Other windows you might have would be vinyl or fiberglass or different things, and those will come apart differently. We'll show you those in an upcoming video. For now, it's just screws. You'll notice I'm using a screwdriver instead of a drill, because these screws are old, who knows how long they've been there, and I don't want to strip the heads. Let's see how it comes apart. Here we are out on the deck where we have a big table with plenty of space to work. I made a small mark on the top of the sash so I know which way it goes back in, and now I'm just going to start taking it apart. If you think it might be too complicated for you to remember which pieces go where, I'd say take a couple of pictures of it with your phone as you're taking it apart so you have something to look at when you're putting it back together. I'm a trained professional, so I'm going to skip that step. Let's see how it goes. All right, now that we have this taken apart, we can take the measurements of this old glass unit so we can order our new glass unit. The measurements you're going to need are the width, the height, and the thickness. Don't forget the thickness. When you need to order this up, it'll take a couple of days, maybe a week, for your local glass fabricator to, to make you another sealed unit, so you can just put this unit back together. It only took us a few minutes to take it apart, it only took us a few minutes to put it back together. Pop it in, the new window comes in in a week and do this process over again. But luckily for you, we have our new glass unit here, so let's see how it fits in. All right, so we have our frame taken apart, we're going to pop the new piece of glass in, put it all back together. Now it's important to note which side of the new piece of glass has the low E coating. You may not have ordered new glass with a low E coating, but if you did, the, the side with the low E coating goes to the outside of the house. You'll need to tell. Now we may make a new video on a couple of ways you can tell. In this case, our new glass unit came with a sticker on it that says which side it's on, so that makes that pretty easy. Let's get it put back in, and we'll get it put together. So you saw how that went back together. I had to make sure I had the pieces lined up right uh, for everything to fit, but once it fit, it goes together pretty easy. Uh, it just takes a little elbow grease to get it together. Now we're going to clean it all up on the inside and the outside, and then we'll stick it back in the opening, put the couch back, and we'll be all set. Well, there you have it, folks. This project is complete. We screwed the sash back together, we popped it back in the frame, put the blinds up, slid the couch over, and all is well. Uh, no, Frisco the window dog has a much better view out of the back window, uh, which will certainly keep us safer on these lonely nights out here at the cabin. It got a little hot in here with the air conditioning off, but I just fired it back up. Things should be back to normal in no time. 
So I'm going fishing. Hope you found this video to be helpful. Remember, you can find the greatest replacement window information on the entire internet at our site at thewindowdog.com. We hope you find it helpful, and we'll see you again next time.